level 1 is a great starting hole for any event. This par 4 plays from right to left, and a tee shot favoring the left side should place the player in a good position to make birdie. The approach shot is into a fairly benign green, which slopes from back left to front right. Number 2 at Cherry Blossom is a straightaway par 3 into a two-tier green. A well-placed tee shot will give the player a good chance at birdie as well. Hole number three is a straightaway par four with out of bounds left and a lone bumper in the right rough. A good tee shot will set the player up on a fairly level lie to have a good opportunity at making birdie. On this approach, be aware of the daring bunker on the left green side and know that this green has a little bit more slope than the others. Hole number four is a downhill par three into another benign green. Be cautious of the thick rough surrounding all sides of the green as well as the left green side bunker. Hole number five is a straight and narrow par five. There's out of bounds on the right and a steep slope off the left side of the fairway. The bunker down the left side pinches the fairway and can be reachable for long hitters. A good tee shot is very rewarding and can make this hole reachable in two. On approach, be cautious of the severe slope separating both tiers of the screen. Hole 6 is one of the more challenging par 4s at Cherry Blossom. This hole plays from right to left with a reachable bunker at the right side. A good tee shot at the left center of the fairway allows the players to access many of the challenging pins that could be picked. On approach, be mindful of the bunker on the right side as it could be very difficult to make par. Hole 7 is a straightaway par 4 with out of bounds right. Picking a good target line off this tee is crucial. A good tee shot offers a rewarding opportunity at making birdie on this hole. This green has a small slope in the center of it, which makes it seem like it is more firm on approach. Hole 8 is a daring par 4 with out of bounds left and a penalty area on the right. Players can either lay back of the fairway bunker or try to bomb driver to a narrow landing zone. On approach, this green slopes from back left to right and is surrounded by treacherous bunkers. is a longer par 5 which requires accuracy both off the tee and into the green. With out of bounds right and thick rough left, it is important to be in the short grass. This green can be accessed in 2 or 3 and on approach, be aware of the penalty area on the left side of the green. Again, this green is fairly benign, however there are a few quirky slopes in the center of it. Hole 10 is a straight and narrow par 4. The thick rough and out of bounds on the left help defend it. A good line on the tee is at the left corner of the fairway bunker. A good tee shot sets up a good approach into a green that slopes from back to front. Hole 11 is a downhill par 4 which plays from left to right with out of bounds on the left. A good tee shot sets up a good approach with access to any pin. On approach, be aware of the bunker guarding the green, and this green slips from back to front. Hole 12 is a straightaway par 3 into an island green. Accuracy off the tee here is crucial for you to make par or birdie. This green slips from back to front and is also guarded by one bunker. Hole 13 is a straightaway par 4 with OB left and water on the right. A good tee shot leaves the player with a good opportunity at accessing any pin and making birdie. This green slopes from back to front and is guarded by a bunker on the right side.
Hole 14 is a dog leg left par 5 with out of bounds left and a penalty area on the right. A good target off the tee is just left of the fairway bunker on the right side. Depending on the day, this screen can be accessed in two, however, be cautious of the bunker about 80 yards out. On approach, it is very important to have a high and soft shot as this screen tends to be very firm. Hole 15 is a straight and uphill par 4 with two fairways. This hole tends to look a little bit more narrow off the tee than what it actually is. A good tee shot on the second tier allows for a fairly shortened uphill approach. The screen is fairly flat and is guarded by a deep bunker on the front left side. Hole 16 is a downhill par 3 requiring an accurate tee shot. The screen, which slopes from back to front, is guarded by two bunkers and a drop off behind. Hole 17 is a quirky par 5 at Cherry Blossom which plays from left to right. A daring tee shot leaves the player facing many options off the tee. A good line for any of these tee shots is either right at the tree or just a few yards to the right of it. This hole is typically played as a three shot hole, however the long hitters can access this green in two. The green slopes from back to front and is guarded by both a bunker and a grass bunker. Eighteen is a straightaway and narrow par four. A good tee shot placed between the bunkers on the left side of the fairway opens up the screen for many different approach shots and opportunities at birdie. This screen is heavily guarded by bunkers, water, and thick rough. Hole 19 